Vlogmas Day 13. The continue of 12 Days of Carrie. Hope you enjoy. Hello, hello. Um, it is Vlogmas Day 13. 13. And it is still the 12 Days of Carrie. Mwah. Um, today I am going to do a topic that needs some awareness, um, something that I went through after I had my daughter, postpartum depression, and, um, this is something that I didn't experience, um, with my son. So this was all new to me. Um, it was like right, I'm saying right after I had my daughter, like as soon as I gave birth to her, um, I felt this like empty feeling. Um, I felt depressed. I felt uh, alone, lonely, um, all these uh, mixed feelings, even though my daughter was in my arms, it was as if she wasn't there. It's hard to explain. I just, I missed um, feeling her inside, uh, inside me. And, um, postpartum can, um, depression can, uh, I guess you can feel different ways, you know, um, you can actually, uh, feel distant from your baby or you can feel, um, like hurting yourself or, or hurting your baby. I didn't feel that, of course. Um, the only feelings I had was, uh, feeling, empty and alone and um it's just a hard feeling to really explain um i didn't i didn't even want to leave the hospital where i gave birth to my um birth to my baby because i felt like that was the last thing that remind me of her being inside me um, but luckily my, um, hospital, uh, gave out like a questionnaire of, you know, how are you feeling after having the baby and all that. And I was honest with my feelings and I put down like, I'm feeling sad I feel like crying for no reason. I feel like um, empty inside. So um, I guess when the nurse, you know, uh, took the paperwork and all that, um, they had two, like, I believe they were like social workers that came in and talked to me. So I reached out for help. And that is very, very crucial, very important. If you feel postpartum depression right after having a baby, the number one thing is to acknowledge it. Second is to reach out for help. And that's exactly what I did. I reached out for help. And um, um It, it, uh, it helped, it helped out a lot. Um, I, uh, went to a support group to hear other, uh, women going through, uh, the same 
feelings and problems that I were I was experiencing. And it was good to feel like um, I wasn't alone. And um, I didn't believe in, um, I didn't want to take medication and all that. You know, number one, uh, number one, I was breastfeeding my daughter. So I didn't know if it was going to harm her. But uh, I asked my doctor and she said it wouldn't affect her. So I had, uh, they prescribed me, um, my doctor prescribed me um, some medication and uh, I held on to it for a month. Like, uh, I think I can do this on my own. I think um, I can get through these feelings on my own, you know, as long as I keep going to the support group. But uh, it wouldn't go away. Those feelings didn't go away. So I just one day took those the medication and uh, it it helped. It it did help. Um, I took it at least until it got me. To feel normal again. Um, I just, I just want to want people to be aware of how serious postpartum depression is, because I didn't think it was that serious. You know, I'm like, why can't you control your own feelings? You know. You look at other people, you can control your own feelings, you know, but it's, it's a, it's like a chemical imbalance that a woman goes through because our bodies are adjusting to not having that human being in us anymore. And, um, not, not necessarily, you know, you, everyone experiences that, um, but it's a high percentage that women do experience that and um, ignore the feelings. And ignoring the feelings is not going to help. Um, so I was glad that I reached out. Um, I, I felt that postpartum depression the whole time I was um, on my maternity leave. So whole three months if not a little longer and um, like I said if you feel um, empty and depressed to for, for postpartum depression and for depression period reach out to someone it is that serious um, but I'm a lot better now and basically it's like taking it day by day and I try to keep a smile on my face and try to have an uplifted spirit and try to stay away from negativity because I don't want anything to like trigger that feeling that I felt. I never, never want to feel that way again. And I wouldn't want anyone that I love or any, even a stranger, I wouldn't want them to feel that feeling that I felt. Um, my fiance was very, very supportive. And that's one thing too, to have a... Um, support um, some type of support system um, you know uh, family friends um, reach out to people that may be going through the same thing um, your doctor someone 
but yeah I feel better and I just this that was me sharing this with with you all is um is a good feeling because yeah someone is feeling that and um would reach out for help because of watching this video um then that's wonderful but um sorry for this vlog to be um on the little depressing side <laughs> but i wanted to uh eventually talk about this uh what i've been through after having my daughter and reach out to other people that other women that may experience uh the same feelings but anyways that is going to end my vlog and i hope everyone has an amazing night just as well as i am i'm gonna go in and watch some christmas movies and um yeah anyways i ask that you uh give me a thumbs up if you like this video and also subscribe down below i appreciate it and i will see you tomorrow in the conclusion of 12 days of carry have a good night y'all